Hello everyone, this is Maithili, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce from St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women. My topic is insurance. Let us discuss about introduction of insurance. Insurance is the form of risk management primarily used to hedge against the risk of contingent and certain loss. Insurance can be defined as the equitable transfer of risk of loss from one entity to another in exchange of payment. Let me see the definition of insurance. Insurance is a contract between the insurer and the insured whereby the insurer undertakes to pay the insured a fixed amount in exchange for a fixed sum premium and happening of a certain event like certain age or a death or compensate on the actual loss when it takes place due to the risk insured. Basic terms used in insurance. Insurer. Insurer means the company selling the insurance is called as insurer. Insured. Insured, the policyholder is the person or the entity buying the insurance policy is called as insured. Premium. What is premium? Premium means the amount paid by the insured for the insurance policy is known as premium. Peril. Peril means the cause of loss. For example, tsunami, flood or earthquake. Uh, these are the examples for perils. A risk. A chance that a loss can be occur. The risk. When the risk occurs, at the time only the insurance company compensates the loss. Characteristics of insurance. Insurance must be enforceable by law. It is a cooperative device. Large number of insured person. Value of risk. Payment of contingency. Insurance is not a gambling. First one. Enforceable by law. Insurance is an agreement enforceable by law. It is a contract between insurer and the insured. And it is always made in writing. The consideration is in the form of premium which insured agree to pay to the insurer. Second characteristic is cooperative device. The insurance is a system wherein large number of person exposed to a similar risk are covered and risk is spread over among the large number insurable public. Therefore, insurance is a social or cooperative method wherein laws of one is borne by the society. Large number of insured person. To spread the laws, a large number of persons should be insured. The cooperation of small number of person may also be insurance but it will be limited to small area. The cost of insurance to each member may be higher so it may be unmarketable. Therefore, to make the insurance cheaper, it is essential to insure large number of person or property because the lesser would be the cost of insurance and so the lower would be premium. Value of risk. Before insuring an object, the risk is evaluated in order to determine the amount of premium to be charged on the insured. Several methods are being adopted to evaluate the risk involved in the subject matter. If there is an expectation of heavy loss, higher premium will be charged. Hence, the probability of occurrence of loss is calculated at the time of insurance. Next characteristic is payment at contingency. The insurance assured amount will be paid only at the time of uh, contingency. That is, uh, uh, when the risk is uh, made by the policyholder that is an insur insurer is liable to pay compensation to the insured only when certain contingency is arise. If contingency occurs payment is made otherwise no payment need to be made to the policyholder. Insurance is not a gambling. Gambling means activity that must result either in a gain or a loss. It is neither risk taking nor investing. Only pure risk can be insured, thus insurance can never be considered as gambling. Insurance is not a charity. Premium collected from policyholder under an insurance is the cost of risk so covered. 
charity is given without consideration but insurance is not possible without premium thank you